Hi everyone, this is Om from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals and for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, we can see that we have started working on this steel structure project and we are working on class structures 2020. So, we can see that these are the polings that we are going to create in our today's class. But before that, we should understand Understand what is polyn. So polyn are the basically the structural members. So these are the horizontal members that are constructed over the roofs, and <clears throat> these provide the structural support to the steel structures. So let's start with creating the polys. So we can see over here. So this is the polyn that we have to create, and for that we are going to catch up from the last video. So in the last video we have learned how to uh, make the eye section of the steel member so here we are going to convert that i beam into the u beam and for that first of all i will just uh, switch the view and over there i will just uh, look into it now you can see i cannot select it over here so this is happening because i have selected a particular profile for it so i will have to just uh, unselect that particular profile and then i will be able to uh, select the desired member over here and you can see here i have my particular profile that has been selected so let me open it so you can see over here this is the i section that i am going to copy it and this is the u section that i will convert or you can say modify my i section into okay so let's uh, grab this uh, like choice so you can see this has been selected as a part so i will have to uh, unselect it and then apply and okay so that's the whole thing that i have to do now i can simply start with my modeling so first of all i have to select this i section and i will simply copy it and place it at the desired location that is above the roof okay so i have to place it and then i can just uh, bring it wherever i have to now you can see the extra component has been selected so i will just uh, undo the process and then i will recopy it so that the desired member is there only okay so like that i have to start working on it and now i can simply change the profile of this one for for that i will just uh, go ahead and choose a u profile and then i will set the dimension according to my need so initially it was 200 but i will change it to uh, 160 and then i will select the material i can also change the class but before that i will have to relocate it so that i can bring it to the desired location now i have decided that i will provide three pole lanes on each side that is on the lhs and on the rhs and for that i will have to uh, like place it properly first now you can see this has been placed at the desired location but i will have to provide some rotation angles so that it can come parallel to the rafters so these are the pollens that are basically located on the rafters and for that i will have to place it like this okay so the rafters has been placed now and now you can see it has been placed properly i will have to simply shift it uh, a little bit so that i can get the desired location now i will just make another copy of it so that i can uh, like uh, i don't have to model the next polyn i will simply copy it and place it because both of the polyns are on the other sides of the rafters are of the same dimension that i am going to use in this model so i will simply do it like that next thing is that i have to construct the beam over here now you can see this beam is uh, the same as the polyd so i will have to just go ahead and modify the uh, beam that is used for the connections so for that i will have to simply come over here and you can see uh, the, again i am selecting the previous beam so i will have to do the little modification in the uh, beam which are used to make the connection so i will just uh, select this one and i can do a little bit of the modifications and then if i will select the beam then the beam option will catch up with this one that's the new option so tecla structure has a property that it is going to use the last option that you have been uh, used in your model okay so initially I was working on the polyns with the U shape. So it was working like that. Now I am working on the L shape beam. So it is working like that. Okay. So the Tecla structure has the property to like uh, get the last modified uh, like uh, item or you can say the structure member. 
so the last modification is always the next modification so if you want to just uh, uh, save your time then you have to just go ahead and uh, click on the la last modified thing and you can like uh, place everything I, I guess you have got my point now i'm just making the multiple copies of it so you can see i have created three extra purlins over here so on total i have four purlins on the left hand side of this steel structures and similarly i will have to create the purlins on the arches but now i don't have to model each and everything i will simply use a, a tool that is the mirror tool so if you want to learn more about the mirror tool or in detail about the mirror tool then you can just watch the previous video here there i have already done that so guys you can see I have explained everything and my Perlin is now ready. So if you have liked this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. That will help us to keep motivated and come up with more such videos. Till then, take care. And if you want to start your career as a building consultant, then you will find a link in the description. Go ahead, check that out. And our team will connect with you once you complete the webinar that is over there. Thank you.